everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's, I mean, real classic car, muscle car, fabulous car video. I just, uh, when I see these cars, I smile. When I think about uh, the levels of restoration, since we do that here and we see cars from all over the world come uh, and all levels of restoration are subjective, I think we have uh, some time to spend together. You and I walk around this car. Let's see what we have. Let's see why is this car a little nicer than some of the other cars that are out there. And I suggest that you go ahead and you start with the undercarriage pictures because that's where restoration lies on cars. And why do you say that tone? Well, here's why I say that. When you, when you restore a car from the bottom, you get the drive quality that you're looking at. If you paint on the top and it's shiny and the underneath is rusty and, and loose and crumbly, it's a radley old car and it will always be a radley old car and it is super expensive to do the bottom of the car and that's why so many people don't do it. In the case of this one here, this car all has been done. Rotisserie restored, taken apart, everything replated, refurbished, repolished, rebuilt, all of those good things. Enormous amounts of time and money put into this. Not only that, great colors, great options like factory air conditioning, automatic, and these great wheels. Cool stuff too. If you wanted to, you can also put the pony wheels on with the red line tires. We could take these off and swap those out for you as well. There's some options there. If you don't love this side stripe here, that's tape. That's the way it would have come from the factory that comes off as well. Um, we can leave that there. If you want to change it to black, you get a dark blue. So many kind of cool little things. If you wanted to add the stripes on the hood and the trunk lid like many people do, we can do that as well. So how cool is that? You can add a couple little features of your own, make it your own, and then enjoy it on your own. All right, so you've seen the pictures of it, you've seen the video, but you're wondering, wow, that color is really great looking. Well, I want to share with you why it's a great looking color, because it's not just blue. It has silver in it, and silver is comprised of metallic, super fine metallic paint, uh, sorry, metal pieces, ground up in there, and then laid into the paint itself when it goes on the car, and this is what you end up with, a fabulous, fabulous car. Secondly, I want to teach you a little bit on how to see good paint versus bad paint. Most people look at the paint and go, okay, it's shiny. And you're right, in pictures it's shiny, but in a video, it's going to show us if it's really good or not. The real way to look at good paint is to not look at the piece of paper, uh, sorry, to not look at the paint, but to look at the piece of paper or the ceiling or things like that in the paint. Someone's watch, whatever it may be, and how clear that is determines how good the paint is. The more orange peel it is, the less quality the paint, the more fuzzy the picture is. So if we look in here together, you can see the air conditioning ducts, the ribs of the ceiling, the lighting, all that good stuff, as well as uh, read every letter here, nice and crisp. And just looks, I mean, it is, if you're saying, wow, does it really look that good in person? I'm telling you, it looks that good in person. Well, you maybe even get it outside and do it in the sunlight too. And you're like, wow, it looks even better. Here's the cool thing about engine compartments that we're going to get to. And that is this. Some people are not interested in what's going on in the mechanics and things like that. They just love a cool car. I think that's awesome. Other people uh, are very technical. They want to be under the hood. They want to tinker. They want to replace parts. Love that as well. Uh, and other people, you know, just want to enjoy it, man. They don't really care. And I think, you know what, that's even better. Sometimes it's just great to be able to get into something that's restored and beautiful and done and care and not care. So uh, having said all that, what if you wanted to go to a car show? What if you want to show some things under the hood to your friends and go, this is a beautifully restored car? Because on the outside, we already know it's a great looking car. For the underneath and the pictures and things like that, you already know how great it is. But here... Here is where they shine. This is the detail things that people don't do. For instance, this is what we would consider actually over restored. You say, tone, how's it possible to be over restored? Is that good or is that bad? Well, if you were going to show this car nationally, right, if you were going to trailer it to all kinds of events and things like that, uh, you would get dinged for it being too nice. And you're like, how is that possible? Well, they wanted to be authentic and they were building a ton of these cars back then and they weren't nearly as nice as this. This is all painted gloss black. I'm pointing out some things uh, that make for a, a nicer car. Uh, these inside here, these cadmium bolts in there, this engine dress up here is nicer than that. Uh, all of the fasteners and details, all of these new parts, the GT lights, uh, this factory air conditioned. This is pretty cool when you think about it. Uh, this is an air conditioned 65 convertible. It is 2000 
2024 that we're doing this and we are at the 60 year mark of uh of these vehicles 60 year mark we're approaching which is amazing when you think about it that a 60 year old vehicle like this beautifully restored is ready to go on the road this also has some uh things as well like uh, disc brakes it has a much larger set of wheels and tires on it so it handles a little bit better we did talk about the air conditioning it does have automatic the engine and the transmission all been rebuilt and uh, as we look around it, you can tell from the new wiring to the beautiful fasteners, everything's painted a different color like it's supposed to be. It's beautiful if you want to go to a car show. If you don't want to go to a car show, you just want to drive it on the weekends, even better. All right, so listen, maybe you're not going to spend a lot of time sitting in the back of your car, pulling up a chair and just staring at the back of it unless you're maybe at a car show, right? But what you should know is this, is that all of these parts that people see from behind are nice and new and shiny. And like, I get this all the time. Hey man, that's a great looking car. And this is some of the reasons why. For instance, when you look through here, you see that beautiful white interior with this boot that's on there, right? And you see new taillights, new taillight bezels, new bumpers, the GT exhaust through the bumper there, right? The, the nice gas cap that's new, the new trunk lock that's on there. The sound of the trunk opening like a restored trunk. The trunk is detailed. It's all painted inside here. It has a correct tartan mat. It has a jacking instructions inside here. Like this is all just super, super nice. It's the detail stuff that makes some cars much nicer than others. And then when you close the trunk, right? Some time was put into this and don't minimize this too because it does take some time to line everything up, make everything sound good and what have you. That's a solid sounding trunk. All right, it's Friday. It's four o'clock. You're walking out of work. You decided today's the day. I'm not staying until seven o'clock. I don't care. I've done it. It's all going to be there for me when I get back on Monday. And you walk up to your cool 65 Mustang convertible, right? With the looks that it is and whatever. And then you say, man, I love that car. I'm going to go ahead and get in it. So you go ahead and you get in. And you say to yourself again, self, right? Self. Why are some cars nicer than others? Let me tell you why. When you talk about all new foams, new seat covers, uh, the brackets for the seats painted, the doors repainted, new door panels, new handles, window cranks, uh, armrest bases, armrests, glove box, uh, gauges, uh, air conditioning, console, carpets, mats, it goes on and on and on. Now you can see how you can get to easy seventy-five dollars to $100,000 to restore a car because you still have to buy a car, right, to start with. Then find somebody to do it, which will take uh, a, a, at least two years is typically what the, the time is. And that's if somebody will start on it tomorrow. They're already backed up. That's why this is the way to buy a car. All this stuff's been done for you already. You can go for a drive this weekend. You can even see, like, the footwell lighting is here. We got that great little sound system in here. My, my, my point is this, is this is a little bit like therapy in the sense that you, that you can leave at four o'clock on a Friday and you can call whoever it is. Hey, listen, I'm on the way home. And then you can shut the phone off and shut off the feed. That's what I call it from Twitter feed to Facebook, to text message, to emails, to boss, to significant others, to all of the stuff coming in at you, right? For a minute, turn it off, get your music out of your phone, stream it to your radio and go for a drive. It is a game changer. All right, so we close up the video. We talked about a lot of things, but let's revisit uh, the expensive parts, right? Rotisserie restoration, meaning this car is completely disassembled. Disassembled, right? Down to just its shell. I want you to think about that for a second. If you had two years to do a car and you tore it all apart, right? Could you put it back together <laughs> in two years without having extra parts left over? Don't know, don't care because we had professionals do this and that's great. Drivetrain has been rebuilt. The underneath of this car is beautiful. The suspension is new. Uh, we have factory air conditioning in this car. We have disc brakes. Great color combination. And basically just a little over 1,000 test miles uh, to make sure that all these things work the way they're supposed to. You could be driving this car this weekend, which blows my mind that you can get a 60-year-old car restored and ready to go and be wheeling it next Saturday. I just think it's cool. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, amazing 65 Mustang convertible. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. That helps us get the message out. Subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And uh, if you don't mind as well, share it with your friends. They might like it as with two. I will see you on the next one.